Hey guys, this series is going to teach you in depth how the advanced brush settings work in Photoshop. In this video, I'm going to explain how the transfer settings work. Let's get started. For this example, I'm going to be using one of Photoshop's default brushes in the hard elliptical brush. Then I'm going to change the spacing to about 50% to make it easier to see the changes we make. Let's turn on the transfer settings and the first thing that you'll see is an opacity jitter slider. This slider lets us automate the opacity of our brush stroke as we paint. Normally our brush stroke would be all the same opacity. If I turn the opacity jitter up to 100%, you'll notice that certain parts of my brush stroke are transparent while others are opaque. By turning opacity jitter off and setting the control for it to pen pressure, you can use a graphics tablet and get nice faded brush strokes. The flow slider is similar to the opacity slider. The difference is that opacity sets a hard limit in Photoshop as to how opaque your brush strokes will be, while flow sets the individual brush stroke density which can add up to the total opacity that you've set. You can see it better if I turn off my transfer settings. If I come up and turn my opacity to about 50% and I start painting even though I overlap, you'll notice that my brush stroke never gets any darker than 50% opacity. If I reset my opacity to 100%, and change my flow to about 10%, I can then paint a single brush stroke, but you'll see where I overlap without lifting up my pen. It gets darker and darker until it reaches the maximum opacity that I've set, which is 100%. The wetness and mix jitter sliders are only available if you're using Photoshop's mixer brush, which we'll cover in other videos. Most of the transfer settings work best when using a graphics tablet, but you can still create some cool effects with just a regular old mouse. Check out the other videos in the Photoshop Brushes Advanced Features series to learn more. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.